What's up guys? John Anthony from John Anthony Lifestyle. Today I want to talk about how to reschedule dates. Okay, so you have multiple dates stacked up in a day. A lot of you aren't there yet, but you will be soon. Or you have fuck buddies that are planned, okay, harem girls that are scheduled as well. Okay, what do you do when you need to move one girl sooner or one girl later? Okay, the best way to do it is that we'll get into in a moment. Please subscribe below if you have not already. Like the video if you found value. Press the notification bell when you subscribe to get notified of new videos Sunday through Thursday. But here's the thing. Um, you don't want to make an excuse that's going to reflect directly back on yourself or for you to be at fault for that excuse. Okay, so the best way that I have found to do it is you create the frame, you create the, you know, situation with the girl that you are always busy with work. So I tell her, I work a lot, I run my own company, I'm always working, it's not true, I'm always with girls, but they think that this is true, and then I tell her, I work people in different time zones, okay, so it's very easy to uh, kick a girl out, so to speak, or change the time of a date, okay? So the way that I typically do it, <clears throat> Let's say that I sleep with a new girl, and another girl is about to arrive in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes. I come back to my phone. Oh shit, my business partners are all hitting me up. They're all like waiting for me to get on a meeting. We had our developers like fucked up a bunch of shit. Our website isn't working. I need to get on a meeting. Okay, and that prompts her to get dressed and leave. And I'm not saying you need to be a dick and like kick them out every time, but this is just at your disposal if you need to. When you do have girls scheduled for right after, and you need to get a girl to leave, this works particularly well, okay? Let's say one date is running late, say you're still in public, it's running into the next one, okay? And you think that things are gonna, you have a decent odd of closing, okay, decent odds of closing, or you want to put in more time with this current one, text the next one, um, hey, I'm still stuck on a work meeting, can we push back the time a little bit, okay? I'll let you know as soon as I'm done. And then as the first date starts to wrap up, when it's like 20, 30 minutes out from, from ending, that's when you would text the next girl and be like, yeah, I'm about to finish up soon. You can head over, okay? If a particular date is going poorly, right? Say that the girl's like, oh yeah, I don't fuck guys like until I've gone on dates for months. or That's an extreme example, but some girls will say shit like that. Or you're just not having any chemistry with this girl or she has like an attitude, maybe she's being a bitch, whatever, whatever it may be. Um, in that case, you're going to want to move the next one up sooner, okay, and cut bait on the first one. So the, what, what you'll do there is you'll say, hey, um, you know, I have a meeting coming up to, to the girl that you're with currently. I have a meeting coming up. Um, you know, sorry to cut things short, but I don't want to be late for this meeting. It's important. The next girl is supposed to come at, like, maybe, say, 7 say it's 6 or 6.30, hey, I just, I finished my work early, like I'm in the mood to fucking hang out, I'm in the mood to celebrate, I'm in the mood to, I'm in the mood to have a drink or have a coffee, uh, can you meet sooner? I'm available now if you're free, okay, and the girl's gonna be like, yes I am or no I'm not, okay, but, but this is just a good way to blame work, I always blame work at all costs, right, let's say like, I'm, like this, this happens all the time too, let's say I'm banging a chick and I'm supposed to meet another chick like at a coffee shop or something or at, at a restaurant, and I don't show up because I'm fucking, right? I try not to let that happen. Sometimes I'll text like during sex and the girl's like, really, you're texting during sex? And I'm like, yes I am, I have important work, <laughs> important work stuff. Um, okay. Um, one moment. Uh, let's see, speaking of, it's like a girl word, asking where to meet up. Um, Okay. So you, you want to you wanna be blaming on something else, right? And in the most extreme cases, and I, I shouldn't even be going here in this video, but I will because it, it is relevant and it does work. Lots of guys will be offended. If you, say you cancel on a girl like two or three times in a row, okay? This is advanced problems. Let's say like you'd rather get a new hot chick than a repeat on, on a hot chick you've already banged a bunch of times. And you won't understand that until you're there. But... Let's say you've canceled two or three times, and she's like, oh, fuck this, like, 
I'm done with seeing you, like you're rude, like I'm sick of you canceling and wasting my time, not respecting my time. That's when I'll import something a little more hardcore. Again, you don't want to you don't want to take personal responsibility for it because gonna she doesn't care. It, it, if you purposely blew this off, she's just gonna blame you and not forgive you. So, what I will say in those cases is, I'm sorry, my grandfather's in the hospital. I mean, this is pretty fucking hardcore. All right, so a lot of you guys will not be okay with doing this, but you can make up some kind of other thing. It can be. Uh, Sound like a total scumbag here. You can say there was a car accident, there was a relative in the hospital, et cetera, et cetera. The, the point being, and these are only in extreme cases, but I just want to put it out there because it does work. You don't, like, your goal is not to lose this girl, right? Say you cancel three times. She's like, fuck this, I'm done. Say she's hot and cool and you like her on rotation. If you're like, oh, sorry, I, I just forgot about the meeting. Oh, I don't care, fuck off. Oh, hey, sorry, like, uh, you know, I got busy with some other stuff. Oh, fuck off. If you're like, hey, my grandfather is in the hospital, <laughs> or like I had a relative get in a car accident. I mean, a lot of you like aren't able to say stuff like this because it, it's extremely morally uh, at odds with your moral code. That's fine. Like, you don't need to be, it just gives you an advantage to, to not worry about those things. The point is, the point is, is like, you want, to, you want her to forgive you and not blame you, okay? And she can't blame you when it was something that is out of your control, like a fucking disease or a car accident or something like this, okay? That's all I'll say about that, because a lot of you are probably really offended or whatever by that comment, but like I said, this is for extreme cases, and in those cases also, when the, when the girl's like really fucking like, okay, that's it, last straw, fuck off, you want to also do something like take her out to a nice dinner and buy her flowers, okay? That's, that's, <laughs> those are the limited occasions where I'll buy a girl flowers, not every time, depends on how close she was to you and how much you want to repair things. You can kind of wipe the slate clean if you buy her flowers and or take her to a nice dinner, okay? Now, and that, again, it's only for like advanced problems when you're setting up tons of dates. Most of you don't even have this issue creeping up. But you can really like play with the scheduled time of, of the meetup by just always blaming work. Hey, still stuck on some calls, which is always code word for, hey, I'm still currently trying to bang the current chick I'm with, or hey, I'm having a good time with the current chick I'm with, so I don't want to see you yet. Uh, stuck on some business meetings. I'll try to finish as soon as possible. <laughs> Close as soon as possible. Let me know if we can move back time a little bit. All right, I'll message you as soon as I'm, as soon as I'm ready. So you kind of have the girl on call, and I'll even do this with hot girls, I don't care. Like, it doesn't, it doesn't matter, like, don't be afraid to reschedule like you're not going to lose the girl unless you're being like a huge dickhead or unless, unless it's becoming a pattern okay and i swear like a lot of, a lot of you cannot relate to this but i promise you because you'll be lucky if you have a meetup once in a week or something or once every two weeks but when you're doing the things that i advocate in my product on my channel for my live programs etc you're going to have multiple girls in a day and there's only so much time in a day Okay, I, I allocate, just throwing out some metrics, I allocate two and a half hours for a public date. Okay, so if it's coffee or drink meetup, I allocate two and a half hours. If it's a date straight to the house, I allocate one and a half hours. Okay, so you want to give, you don't want to, like, run out of time to close, but you also don't want to, you know, give yourself too much time so there's all this fucking window in between each girl. Okay, because on like a Saturday, for instance, I can set girls for like 12, 2.30, 5, 7.30, and 10 p.m., okay? And I have something called, and I talk about this extensively in the Leads Machine product at www.sexleadmachine.com. Uh, there's something called like a floater spot where you'll have, say I have those spots 12, 2.30, 5, 7.30, and 10. It's five spots. And then I have like a floater which means I tell the girl like, oh yeah, I can meet you sometime during the day. It depends on how my business meetings go because everything's back to business meetings. <laughs> I work on the weekends too, people in different time zones, which means you can be busy at any time, okay? But then if a date flakes, cancels, or goes very poorly, you can schedule that floater girl. Hey, I just finished my work. Are you free right now? Okay, or you can call her, answer objections, set the date, okay? Hope that was helpful. Please like and subscribe below. 
as a reminder, if you have any dirt on RSD Max, he's getting blasted on Thursday. And fucking stupid ass Squat and Casanova, and I hope you're watching this, he's preparing some kind of rebuttal response, even though this is all the laws he's breaking have been confirmed by tons of people. And multiple ex clients are filing police reports. That's a real thing. Okay, sorry, once that level, you dumb fuck. But now he's trying to pr provide like a rebuttal and just make up a whole bunch of things, trying to claim everything's false. No, it's not false, it's all true, and you're gonna probably be arrested for it. Okay, thank you guys. Like and subscribe below. I will see you during the week. Hopefully, an infield footage breakdown on Wednesday. And oh, Sopot Summit starts three weeks from today in Warsaw, Poland. www.sopotsummit.com. I'll throw the link in the description. Sign up. It's all the top underground guys, including myself, giving epic speeches about game. And I will see you guys during the week. Thank you.